Hi, so I'm going to be doing a short episode where I talk about the truth about H1B sponsorship. And yeah, you should take it from me. I was rejected and denied H1B sponsorship and that is what sent me down the path of NIW. I'm sure you've heard my story. If you haven't, check the link in the description box. Anyway, let's jump right on it. Now, I have some very interesting updates to share. A lot of you have reached out to me requesting some face-to-face -face interaction, either because you have some questions as follow-up from my videos, or you have some unrelated questions that you feel will help you excel as an LLM student. And guess what? Now you can schedule some time with me. I have a Calendly link that I'm going to provide in the description for you to please, you know, schedule some time with me and we can have some one-on-one -on -one and talk about your goals and how I can help you, you know, accomplish those goals. Now, now, let me be clear the consultation is going to be at a fee but it's really not about the fee over the last couple of months i have received a ton of messages and a ton of questions from a lot of you and guess what because i have a family and because i have a job i can answer all those questions i can't type that much text and i can't meet with everybody right and so this fee is going to help me show up right and help you keep your commitment to the appointment as well now and because i'm feeling a bit more generous i will be providing a discount to the first 10 people who reach out to me to schedule an appointment right so you don't really need to reach out to me to schedule an appointment because i've provided a link but the first 10 people who reach out to me after this video goes live um either via linkedin or make a comment will have the opportunity to get the advantage of you know getting a discount right um, and so i look forward to that if that applies to you or if that is something that you feel like you want to take advantage of first i'm sure at this point you probably know that h1b visa sponsorship is not guaranteed in other words what i mean is that finding a law a, a, a law firm or some fancy organization that decides to file for you does not mean that you actually get it which can be very heartbreaking but that is not really what i want to address in this episode i want to address something that i see a lot of times and why i feel like a lot of llm students struggle i think there is this you know and this is my opinion feel free to say what you think you know do how act however you want to act and you know make your decisions but this is strictly my opinion based on my experience i feel a lot of people you know have made job and h1b some sort of conjoined twins in other words if this organization is not going to give me an h1b visa sponsorship what's the point of getting the job and i get where you're coming from but i also feel like that is a short-sighted way of of thinking about you know your approach to immigration here in the u.s and in my opinion i have to be honest i also think that a job is quite more important right because a job can lead to a lot of other things so i'm sure you know my my story while i was in school I interned for this organization and you know one of the th reasons for interning was because I felt like I wanted job experience and it's something that you need to think about sometimes an experience can just be an experience for the meantime anyway back to my story so I started working for this organization I was interning for them and they did not promise me sponsorship and guess what if I did not get sponsorship from that organization even though I worked there for close to 16 months right so I did my one year OPT there and I also worked there for six months before I graduated I still didn't get a visa sponsorship but was it a waste of my time no this is a mistake i feel like a lot of you are making you have made it look like the job you're looking for must give you h1b sponsorship and if they're not giving you it's a waste of time i think that is going to make your job search process longer right i think that is because you've also put all your eggs into this thing that is not even guaranteed we've talked about a lot of options have you looked at cap exemption have you looked at um the niw pathway have you spoken with an immigration attorney to figure out what your other options are even better have you thought about other countries in the world yeah there are other countries out there in the world that is not the u.s right so this is something that i just wanted to bring to your attention because i feel like it can be a struggle i know april is the month you know of h1b visa applications and things like that but take it from somebody who has been rejected and heartbroken because i put all my eggs in that basket your best approach is not to put all your eggs in that basket because nobody guarantees that to you and i also think that your job does not become a waste and this is me with the benefit of hindsight if you had told me this a couple of years ago i probably would have slapped you across the face <laughs> but 
with the benefit of hindsight i would say the organization that i worked for as an intern even though they didn't give me uh, 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 a h1b visa sponsorship that created a springboard for me to jump into an organization that agreed to sponsor me right and so that is something that you need to pay attention to if you are always saying it has to be one without the other or, or you can't take one without the other or during an interview when people you know you know that's the one that can i'm sorry i'm all over the place but that's the one that actually gets to me right you get into this interview nobody knows you and you're already making demands for folks to sponsor you they've not even you seen you prove yourself right so for me my approach even while i was interning for that organization my approach was to tell them you know, I was ready to work. I was willing to intern. And then during the internship phase, like six months into the internship, I kind of brought up the conversation of, oh, an H1B sponsorship, right? And they were open to it because why? They had seen me prove myself. But for you, the audacity, you know, and, and you, you know, granted, you have the right to be as audacious as you want to be. But it's the, 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 this feeling that, oh, any job you get now has to give you H1B sponsorship. It's going to be hard for you if that's your first job. And it's going to be hard for you to make those demands, you know, if you've not proven yourself or, or, or whatever the past tense of proof is, <laughs> right? So I would say your, your, my approach was get a job this job might not give me an internship but no this job might not give me an h1b sponsorship but get a job right start from a job and then let's see what happens from there right why because i think at this point you know you have other options think of your other options think of the niw speak to other people see what folks are doing right as opposed to saying with if i don't get any job if no one gives me an, an h1b visa guarantee uh, with a job you know i won't take it i think that's a short-sighted way and i'm saying this because i've gotten a lot of questions along this line so please you know i i would advise and you don't have to take my advice is that you take the job right do like take the job take the job if even if it doesn't guarantee you anything because guess what it's not like you have twenty thousand jobs waiting for you anyway <laughs> no offense i'm sure you're a big you're a big boss and stuff like that but it's not like you have a thousand jobs waiting for you you just have this one opportunity so take it prove yourself and then bring up the h1b sponsorship conversation is what i would say but you don't have to take my thoughts for it i'm sure you have a way of figuring these things out by yourself anyway just wanted to bring that up because i feel like that is something that can be helpful for folks especially during this season i hope this was helpful for you have a wonderful rest of your day